What's up guys, Tony here from Apple Ties 5 and in this video I'm going to show you how to add and install Cydia tweaks or applications on your phone. This is the iPod Touch 5th generation. It's just recently been jailbroken with the evasion jailbreak. I'm currently on 6.1 and I did do this jailbreak with the over the air update it was already updated over the air so I just plugged in and did the jailbreak and it worked pretty good so in this video I'm gonna show you how to install applications and tweaks because I haven't seen too many of these videos up and they're pretty simple and the first one's gonna be SB settings so pretty much all you have to do is go to Cydia I'm gonna show you from the very beginning sorry this is my daughter's iPod touch she let me experiment on so what you first want to do is you want to go to Cydia. That's where you get all the good stuff. And for instance, you want to get SB settings. You go to search right here. Click it. And you're going to get this. Wait till this done. You're going to get this right here. It's going to be a search bar. The search bar, you're going to type in SB settings and you're gonna get a list you just look for the SP settings just SP settings with nothing else on it and you tap on it and this is SP settings from the big boss repo so this repo automatically comes with your Cydia application if you don't want to install any other sources then you just use the big boss repo and this is a free application at the top you're gonna see install tap install make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi downloading it is 5.5 megabytes so this is all that's gonna come with this application so you're gonna get activator you're gonna get a default HD SB settings you're gonna get highlight these are just things that come with it they're all listed here you're gonna get Wii loader substrate safe mode all these this whole all this right here on this list you're gonna get so you click confirm and these begin to download onto your device. It doesn't take very long, a couple seconds, maybe a minute. Depends how big the files are. So we got five meg megabytes, so it shouldn't be too long. And if you didn't know, by the way, SP settings, it just gives you quick access toggles, like for your brightness, your 3G, your Wi-Fi. You don't have to unlock your device to get to them. They work from your lock screen. And I'm going to show you once it's downloaded and installed. I'll show you exactly what it does and how to change the theme. You can also do all other kinds of things with it. So there it is. Now it's pretty much installing stuff. And once everything is installed, I'm almost certain it's going to ask to reboot. Oh, it just said respring, so I was wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and respring. And now we're back. So unlock my device. SP settings should be up and running. And there it is. There's the SP settings. I'm going to show you that it does also work from the lock screen. So for instance, your brightness is turned up too low or something, you just slide your finger, bring it down. There's the brightness, you can turn it up or down. And that's SP settings. You can change the theme. I'll do that real quick and show you all the way at the bottom you can change your carrier since it says iPod you can change that and I'm gonna go ahead and put my daughter's name on here set carrier and I'm gonna change the theme drop down window theme you can change it I'm gonna go ahead and do serious and then once you get out 
you have to respring or it resprings automatically and once it comes back up you'll see that it, it'll say her name see there it is so that's how you get that working so that's SP settings it is very very useful and you can see that everything changed now it's a different theme so that's SP settings now we're gonna go ahead and try another one which is also for the lock screen since we, what we want to do is we want to add forecast on here yeah, so we'll go ahead and look for that so if you added those three repos I told you this will not be an issue and you'll be able to get everything on here so exit that out and type in forecast you see you have a couple this is the paid version so by looking at this one it's only 99 cents you can go ahead and purchase this I have purchased this already on my iPhone so I'm not going to go ahead and purchase it again so you can see the version 2.1 1-2 so that's the newest version you can find that here too there it is and it's practically free and it does work so I, I believe this is iHax I repo go ahead and install that this one is very small 36.4 kilobytes so this should be pretty quick go ahead and confirm and that's pretty quick so for some reason forecast is not working on the iPad touch fifth generation so I went ahead and uninstalled it since it's not working and we're gonna keep it moving we're gonna move on to the next application so we'll go back to studio and we're gonna install spring to mice 2 for iOS 5 and iOS 6 it works. So this is the 1.4.1-1 and the page version. I always look at the page version because that means if it's the same numbers up here that, that it's the most updated one. So this is just for tryouts. So before you want to buy it, you can go ahead and try it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and install. It's a pretty small package and see if this works not all of them are working straight from Cydia because they do have to be updated and optimized for the iPhone 5 and the iPod 5th generation iPod touch 5th generation so can't be sure if these are all working so wait, when you unlock you should see an icon there it is so that's indicating that it is working so you go to settings and here's a welcome screen you can dismiss that and these are all the settings you can mess with I'm just gonna do the dock for right now I wanna do the cover flow effect so this would be at the bottom down here so I'll do that and I'll go ahead and reload respring and you should have the cover flow effect on the bottom and there it is cover flow effect so it looks pretty nice So, so far we have Spring to Mice and obviously Forecast didn't work for me. It needs to be updated. And my next one is going to be Lock Sliders. It's updated and let's install it. And respring it's pretty simple so we go to settings I already have settings open down here and it should be down here already so we look for lock sliders and here it is lock sliders you want to enable it the left knob 
which would be the one on this side. I always keep the unlock button there. The right knob, you can put pretty much whatever you want. Um, I'll put messages. Messages. And then the second slider, which would be the bottom one. You can make them small. You can put whatever you want there. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera. Then you have another one. So I'll put Pandora. So you can see you have at the, at the top top slider we have unlock and we have messages. Second slider we have the camera and the Pandora. And then if you keep going down you'll have if you double tap the home button you'll get the other sliders and we'll go ahead. I'm going to keep those off for right now. So I don't want to make this video long, but it's pretty. It's the same thing you do here. You do that. You did at the top. You just select the type you want, where you want them, if you want them large or small, stuff like that. I'll let you guys play with it, and we'll go out and see what this looks like. I don't think there's a respring required, if I'm not mistaken. So there it is. There's no respring required. Here's the unlock. Here's the messages. Here's the camera, and here's the Pandora. And if you double tap, you would get the other app. You would get the other set, but I didn't activate them because I didn't select any apps for them. So, so that's lock sliders. Kill background. This one is free, and I highly recommend it. Pretty much what it does is when you get come down here and you have all these open applications, you just hit one icon and close them all real useful and it's a real small so here it is kill background and you want it on whichever side you want. You, there's a couple of settings here you just look through them. I want mines on the left and that's about it. Once you activate it to the left it should be there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a few applications so you can see this will close them all. So I'm gonna go home now. Double tap the home button and it's not here. Let's, sorry about that. What it was is I didn't have it always visible so I did you do have to activate always visible and it will always be visible so now it should be working and there it is I apologize for that so you have all these open applications including Cydia with this one icon when you hit the double or you hold the icon to close you get all of them you have to close them one by one that gets annoying sometimes so with this application they're all gone Okay, so that's about it guys. If you guys want some more videos on how to install Cydia applications, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Also, if you want to comment below on any application that you are having trouble with, I'll be glad to assist you. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.